Good morning YouTubers, it's the big fella here, Big Jim. The trials and tribulations of owning an ex-London taxi. Mainly a TX2 on a 2003 by London Taxi International with 280,000 miles on the clock. It's a Saturday morning, very, very good morning to you. Uh, just starting from cold, you'll get a chance to listen if you can hear it. Poppy starts, first time. All right, my friend Paul, that's just a personal thing that I do every day just to get me through. Uh, someone very close to me that's no longer with us. Uh, I'm now backing out my drive, but this time not throwing a load of transmission, sorry, a lot of power steering fluid over the floor because that little, that little problem has been solved. Uh, you remember I told you on a previous, sorry gang, it's just a little bit tight here. I told you on a previous blog that uh, I had a slight water leak. Well, the slight water leak just sort of become, I'll tell you what, let's go down by the sea. Because I literally live a stone's throw from the sea. Uh, I'd like to show you, but you wouldn't see my lovely shining happy face, would you? Um, as I said, I digress. Um, I told you in my last blog, or a previous blog, how I had a bit of a water leak on the on the car. Um, it was dripping around uh, the top of the radiator. Um, although we'd done a temporary fix of squeezing down, squeezing down uh, the top, nipping it down with a pair of sort of stilsons or a pair of pinchers. It sort of worked, but I did notice that at the back of the radiator, which is harder to get to, it was spraying up on the crankcase cover, sorry, the timing chain cover, uh, and it was leaving a, an awful bloody residue of water and uh, antifreeze. It wasn't ideal, so uh, I got a little bit of time during the week and uh, took delivery of a, uh, an Italian and a half decent radiator. Uh, cost me, it was from a taxi spares company, uh, 72 quid. I could have gone for one for 50, which was a Chinese import. And I've read a few um, comments and also I've done my homework and uh, they're not much good. They're leaking in sort of 12 or 13 months and hopefully I'm going to hold on to Poppy for a, a lot longer than that. Just to my right now, uh, I've got beautiful sea views now, right out of the North Sea, sorry the English Channel and the way it will be. It's just gorgeous out here. Um, it's just absolutely lovely. The old air is blowing right the way through the, into the cab, I've got the other window open. Um, so I decided to fit a new rad um, and in fitting the new rad as well uh, although it really wasn't 100% necessary um, I sort of changed the top and bottom hoses as well and obviously a reflush with uh, some new antifreeze all season antifreeze and uh, stuck it back in and va 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 vum. We now have a new rad on the front of that now. And uh, over the last couple of days I've been monitoring it and the uh, sight glass in the expansion tank, it's not moved. Uh, it was definitely, I know it was the rad. And when I took the old one off, funny enough, when I took the old one off, it is a bloody bind because if I'd have had the time, I would have really sort of tried to uncrimp that long plastic section where you where your obviously filler is and um, sort of have a look and see what actually did foul in there because in looking at the front and back fins i.e. the front of the rad and the rear of the rad it was absolutely perfect there was nothing wrong with it at all and that is so frustrating um, I know in the old days you know when the fronts weren't so protected on cars you know, you could get a stone or something fly up, which I've had in the past, and it sort of damaged the fins. 
and used to be able to solder them, you know, just a little spot solder if it weren't that bad. But no, there was no leaks at all coming down the, you know, the fins of the radiator from the top or the bottom. The bottoms as well is where they used to go as well, right on that bottom sill. But no, absolutely sealed. It was all coming at that top section. So I thought, oh, sod it. So anyway, there's a new rad in there now. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's got a guarantee on it for two years. Um, and you can register the register the rad which I've already done online um, when it was fitted not when I ordered it uh, it asked me to keep if possible keep my um, keep the uh, receipt which I will do and I've got a two year guarantee on that and it truly isn't a big job to do um, probably about I suppose just over an hour, something like that, an hour and a quarter. Um, but it was done in work with all the air tools, and so it made things a lot easier. Um, so that's done. So we're back, and I'll tell you what, last night, this uh, we're talking Saturday now, so Friday, we had the mother of all rain come down, and I mean the mother of all rain come down. The lightning almost was hitting the road. I didn't finish work till well late last night, um, and when I was coming home, the rain was hitting the road so hard that people's wipers couldn't couldn't clear. I mean, you'd never know it now because we've got the sun shining next day. And um, what's it now? 20 past 11 in the morning, and the the rain just was sleeting down. And everyone was slowing down. Now, I'm a slow driver. But you know what I noticed in the cab? Where everyone was slowing down because they were fearing aquaplaning or, you know, they, they, they were a bit worried that they wouldn't be able to, you know, hold on to the road. The cab, Poppy, I think it must be the weight of her. Because she's so heavy and because she's got real decent tyres on her as well, she just seemed to plough through it. It was it was amazing. I've never had it in a vehicle before. I mean, my last car, I'd have to slow down to a, you know, not a snail's pace, but very slow. But this seemed to just cut through the rain. It just, puddles made no difference to it. I've got new wipers on, so the screen was clearing lovely. But it, it's almost like a, it's almost like a flipping ice barge cutting through ice. It just seemed to plough through the water of the weight it must be the weight and possibly the height of the cab as well and it just didn't miss a beat and it just took me all the way home absolutely as it should uh, I didn't have no water coming in anywhere it was just absolutely perfect I was well impressed with that I can tell you um, I hadn't experienced that before um, and also since the steering has had a new steering box on as well that sort of really did seem to help uh, the steering now, as I've said before, is very, very responsive. Solid, solid. So the, you, you almost feel like you can feel the road now. Um, I'm not doing this, you know, just to hold it in a straight line. So it was on its way out. I can honestly share with you that every day that I have this old taxi, every day I smile a bit more. And I'm not the one to get emotional or anything like that, but I can tell you exactly that this 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 old girl has, has made a big difference to me. Uh, and I can share just a little bit with you of what, I mean, it's been a lot happening in my personal life. Um, this, these past sort of six or seven months, possibly before that as well. And since I've had the cab, um, it's allowed me to focus on something um, and you probably see on the top of one of my listings uh, I mentioned that you know the breakdown of a relationship and everything well I've been married for about 38 years and uh, me and the partner best of friends now just decided enough was enough and uh, we sort of decided to part our own ways and yeah, that would have been traumatic and I could have literally just sat down the pub every night. But what it allowed me to do was sort of just just 
get in the cab and and uh, and have a go and, and and just sort of since I bought it, tinkering with it, doing little things with her, getting her up to standard, um, just just tweaking and changing little bits. It allowed me to become quite focused on on obviously the good things uh, and in in a funny way and this is not going to be a sermon believe me I thought to myself although I don't show it it does affect you you know when you have a relationship sort of breakdown and a lot going on in your life um, and it wasn't different partners involved or nothing like that it was just that we thought enough was enough you know um, and it's a bit late in life to discover that, but we did. And so we decided to go. And and what I, I thought, I could have sat back and moped, but that's not me. I mean, I've got my, my three children around me as well. What I actually thought to myself was, I can fix this cab. I can put bits into this and repair her and bring her back from being in a pretty sad state. And I can bring her back to a, a level of where she's really running and happy to run and running really smooth. And in a parallel way, that was my life as well. That I realized that I could repair, that I could get better. I didn't have to remain broken, remain unfixed, remain unfocused. So there's a word called symbiosis and you probably know what that is but basically symbiosis is if, if you don't is where two people or two objects or doesn't even have to be living actually parallel live off one another for the betterment of the whole of the whole thing and this is what poppy done to me i mean i call her poppy as you know my granddaughter named her it's turning the engine off because i'm at a nice level crossing and and what she done it allowed me to focus on repairing her, getting her well. And in, in finding places that with spares and bits and pieces and people with far greater knowledge than I'll ever have and specialist people that know these vehicles, it allowed me to open up different avenues in my life and look towards other people and, 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 other, and other people that possibly have got the same interest in life that I've got. And I think that, uh, that really helped me. So as much as I repaired this cab, you're probably gonna think I'm really weird. As much as I repaired this cab, this cab in itself, symbiosis wise, symbiotically, is that a word? Yeah, symbiotically has repaired me or helped to repair me. I enjoy now coming out, running around on the cab. It gives me a smile. Um, I don't like to see it dirty as it is now. And I'm looking over the bonnet and thinking, oh, because of all that rain last night. But that's okay. Inside is very clean, although all my storage area is down here. It allowed me to sort of repair myself and get on. So, Poppy, as much as I've repaired you, thank you. You've taken your share. And listen to me quite a lot, actually, when the uh, cameras have not been rolling. And... Uh, in a way, she's done her bit to repair me. So uh, we both repaid one another on that. Anyway, this is getting a little bit deep. Uh, apart from that, everything else is going really, really well. I'm just on my way over to my daughter's now. Got to drop some plants over to her. Um, and uh, the rest of the day really is to, is to myself. Now, one of the reasons why I'm really, really smart in gang is that I've only got two more days at work start the old cab up two more days at work and I'm on holiday now I'm not going anywhere particular and then when I say on holiday I'm not like most people go on holiday for two or three weeks because I work within school services and basically vehicles and making sure vehicles are all right through uh, onto different contracts uh, that, that, that transport children with uh, challenging needs and disabilities all over our county in West Sussex, I get the school holidays off that teachers get off, pro rata with pay. So basically, coming up now at the end of July, I have gang got 
one, two, three, four, five, six weeks and about four or five days off. Now, that's got to be a result, ain't it? On pay, all the way through, to decide what I really want to do. Now, one, excuse me, I've got an itchy nose. I do. I think I'm getting this hay fever. Now, what what this is will allow me to do is it allow me to spend a bit more time on the cab, knowing that I'm not um, rushed. So, right, the crossings are down again. Do I care? Nah, not really. Uh, knowing that I'm not rushed to have to sort of, you know, look at repairs or anything else I want to do. So. I'm looking forward to that. Trouble is the six weeks will go very, very quickly. It allows me to turn off my laptop, work laptop, turn off my mobile phone, work mobile phone, and just relax for that period. And, I, and I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, there's still a lot going on in my life, but uh, one less, uh, one less need to sort of concentrate on something like that because I'm not there and everything's shut down. So basically that's it. Um, pretty straightforward actually. Cab's running absolutely fine now. Um, as I said, she could do with a bit of a bit of a clean. I have noticed the subscribers are going up. Now, I'm telling you, we are on our way, all of us. All of you that have subscribed and have come on board, you're helping to make this really, really massive. And it's gonna be really, really massive. And we are gonna go viral. All of us together, I promise to answer as many calls as I, um, messages as I can, and I'm proud to announce, ladies and gentlemen, if I could put a drum roll in here and I knew how to do it, I I would give you a or even a do 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 Eastenders jobby. We are now up to. Are you sitting down waiting for this, everyone? Big Jim can announce in the London Taxi International TX2. We are on 17 subscribers, gang. Now that is uh, on the way for a record. 17 people out there that are listening to this piff and drivel. My God, what am I driving you all to, gang? Uh, what I'm gonna actually go for now, for a big cheers, and see if we can do it during the holidays. I wanna see if we can get up to 25. And if I can get up to 25 subscribers, friends, that's 25 people that I didn't know in my life before I started doing this blog up on YouTube. So if you've got any friends out there that are interested in the big old fella, grab it in on about next to nothing. 95% of it about his old cab. Please ask them to subscribe and come on board. And we're on our way to our first 500,000 gang and that makes me smile so uh, I will let you all go and enjoy your Saturday you do not need to listen to me driving you crazy uh, I am now going to enjoy the rest of my day going over to my daughters drop a few plants in I was going to try and wash this car down over my daughters um, but it's really weird weather it's 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 now too hot and I know on the black car black cab the bonnet is going to be bloody hot as anything so we won't be doing that today gang um, we may give it a sort of a quick wash over but it certainly won't be any clay barring and uh, heavy polishing but I don't care because you know what gang I've got six weeks in the next couple of days I've got all the time as it was in uh, the time machine we have all the time in the world six weeks of it anyway right when i get around the other side of this roundabout i'm coming out on the uh, a259 i will bid you adieu i can't do it now because i'm just liable to have an accident i'll tell you what it's bloody busy oh uh, it's like everyone look at it look it's just as i said to you i remember this when it used to be a lovely little country road and look at it now it is just non-stop traffic you think you were you would think you were on a dual carriageway honestly but do i panic do i worry nah i just sit here and i just wait for it here we go time for it out we go don't need the turbo on yeah thank you 
Don't need the turbo on. Oh, look, everyone's just all cutting out on everyone else. No one's got any time for anyone, guys, but I'll tell you one thing. I've got time for my 17 subscribers, all right? Going on for 25 by the time of the holiday. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to the old fella rabbiting on in his London Taxi International TX2 on a 2003 plate with 285,000 miles on the clock. Big Jim saying, catch you up very soon. I'm out of here.